Hi, I'm Taj George of SWV, and I'm here to talk about our book, Married for Real, Building a Loving, Powerful Life Together. And I'm Eddie George. I'm a former football player, played uh, collegiately, professionally. Now I'm an entrepreneur, entertainer, philanthropist, a man of the world, man of the world. <laughs> Eddie and I were approached by Abingdon Press to do a book about relationships and when we discussed it, we figured we would do something that would really be compelling to other people. We could write a book all day long about being happy, staying together, and just having fun throughout the day, but we wanted the book to be personal, so we decided to make it more about us and the trials and tribulations that we've been through, our victories, our, our gains, and we hope that that book mm -hmm. will be able to help other people avoid the pitfalls that we almost fell in. So after giving it much thought, I said, hey, you know, this could be a great way for couples to learn and to grow from, uh, build a, a, a strong relationship because my wife and I have been gone through it. And I said, wouldn't it be cool to do it together and show our uh, backstories of where we come from, how we were, our views of relationship growing up, our own personal relationships, and um, how we became one. So it starts off as a process of how we had got to this point and where we're trying to go. When we got, first got married, you know, uh, I was going through a transition in my career. So there was some things I had to deal with personally of depression, of uh, uh, insecurity, of uh, finding a new identity that I had to go through and I had to peel back layer by layer by layer to, uh, to find out who I was truly in order to be the best me I could be so I can be the best for my wife. In the book, the first chapter is finding and polishing the true you. And we felt like that was very essential because everyone has a history, everyone has had trials and tribulations, and everything that has happened to you prior to you meeting someone that you plan to be with for the rest of your life, it shapes you. So if you've had negative history, if you've had uh, um, any kind of setbacks that you have not been able to handle, it can affect your future and you want to be able to clear that out because that will allow you to be the best you for the person that you plan to become one with. The concept of living by faith, I think, is, is essential for anybody, period. Regardless of being in a relationship or not, in terms of living your best life, in terms of your career, uh, you have to have faith because you don't know what's right around the corner. I mean, you can get knocked down 10,000 times, but it's the, the next time that counts. So it's living by faith, understanding that you have a higher purpose and, and that you have, to, you have a dream that you're living for and fighting for. Um, that's essential. And I think for me, that's been my foundation to where I started from growing up in Philadelphia, wanting to be a Heisman Trophy winner to going to Fort Greene Military Academy, and from there going to Ohio State, and had my trials and tribulations, and finally winning the Heisman Trophy and going on to have a professional football career, it was all because of faith. It wasn't because I was the best or the fastest or the strongest or the quickest of my faith. And the same thing applies to a relationship, is that when you get together, you know, when you, you get on the altar and you change, exchange rings and you do your vows, you're living by faith. Either you want to make mistakes, you want to go through your pitfalls, but you have to have the faith that you're going to see it through regardless of what the circumstances are. So we suggest that anyone who has any uh, breath to definitely add faith in your foundation because it will make you stronger. It is, it is like the best armor you can put on, a bullet can't penetrate it. Right. So uh, faith for us is extremely important because that is our protection and that is our strength, that is our will to keep moving and doing what we do.